What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Dawn here and today I'm going to be telling you guys how I came out as transgender. So a lot of people, a lot of girls, a lot of trans guys have just been in my inbox asking me like how do I do this? How do I come out as trans? And like how do I get hormones? How do I get access to that? You know I can't, I'm only going to respond to as much as I can. You know social media is, what point is it to have social media if you're not going to be social, right? So I decided to just make a video for you guys to all just come to you and see where you can relate to and what information you can get from this video. Mm -hmm. How I came out as transgender. This is the beginning of it. So one day I was in my room. We had just moved into a new house um, February 26th of last year and um, I was just laying in my bed one day and I was just on Instagram scrolling through my explore page and I came across Gigi Gorgeous. Now I know a lot of people like come across Gigi Gorgeous and they're just like oh my god she's beautiful but not a lot of people know that Gigi is trans. So no, me being one of those people I didn't know Gigi was trans so when I found out she was trans I was like oh my god because like I see Gigi, Gigi's known for like makeup, her beauty, her modeling, all that good stuff. I was scrolling through her page and then like I was going through the comments and stuff and I was seeing like oh did you guys know that she was born a man or did you know that Gigi was transgender and all that stuff and I'm just like what? Gigi's transgender and I've known about Gigi and I've heard about Gigi for like years now and I never knew that she was transgender because I never really did my research on her so like finding out Gigi was transgender I was like oh my god like this is possible like Gigi was a guy like what? I was spooked I was shook so I did my research I was like oh my god like this is so relatable to me because I've always felt like I've been a woman trapped inside a man's body now when people say like oh that's not possible I don't understand that well you know there are people with you know more feminine womanly brains who are males and who are really like assigned to the wrong body and it sucks that we have to go through this but it's very true and this is why I make videos like this to bring awareness to people who don't really understand that or get that. Back to the story I was just doing my research and I found out Gigi was trans and I found out that it was possible. I was like oh my god like you know how does she do this? I was doing research like about trans people how trans girls get so feminine you know with hormone replacement th therapy HRT and so I was thinking like oh my god I started bawling. I was literally crying my eyes out like tears rolling down my face my whole face was wet it looked like raging water it's just parked its ass on my face so I called my best friend I was like oh my god best friend I always felt like something was missing and this is the missing puzzle piece like this is it this is it like I'm transgender this has always been something in the back of my mind like you know I want to be a girl I want to have the long locks of hair I want to wear the feminine clothes I want to wear makeup heels all that stuff and it's not even about all the materialistic stuff it's just who I am as a person and the kind of person I'm the person I want to wake up as and go to sleep as as well so when I found that out I instantly was thinking about my next move so I decided to get away from my house for a week and I went to my best friend's house at the time and he allowed me to stay with him and I told him the dealio like hey I'm trans I figured this out like I want to be a woman and I need to like stay here for a little bit to just figure things out and clear my mind and just know that this is what I really want to do. So he was nice enough to let me stay at his house and you know I got some hair. I'll add a photo for you guys to see. I had um, my nails done, I had my hair, I had some sh white shorts, a crop, and some heels and I just felt like the baddest bitch ever. The hair, it took about like four hours. I used to do that like every two weeks. It took forever. As for work, I went to work and let my boss know. I sat down with her and was like look I'm transgender, I'm turning into a woman, I'm starting all the physical and medical procedures to do this. I would like to be referred to as Dawn and she and her pronouns please. I still haven't been home yet. I went straight to work from my friend's house and so what I did was I had my mom pick me up so that I could tell her in the car ride home so it was more personal. So she picks me up from work about like 11.30, almost 12ish at night. That's what time Target closed. On the middle of the car ride home, I was like, mommy, I have to tell you something. And then she said, 
She rolled up the windows very slowly because my mom is crazy, but she's very nice. She's just an intense woman. She rolled up the windows very slowly and was like, yes, baby, like, what is it that you need to tell me? And I'm just like, oh my God, like, I'm about to, like, reveal myself. And she's not stupid. Like, she saw the nails, she saw the hair, she saw the full face of makeup. Like, she was figuring it out, but, like, you know, I wasn't wearing a bra yet or anything, so it was kind of like, are you just cross-dressing? Like, are you just super gay as fuck? Or, like, what is it? I told her, like, mom... I'm transgender and she was like okay like I understand that like what what does that mean though I was like well that means that I want to be a woman I'm changing from male to female and she was like oh okay she wasn't really surprised by the fact that I came out as transgender because as a child um she told me a little story and she said I was basically born a female and what I had was Klinefelter syndrome, so I had an extra X chromosome, which means I produced a lot of estrogen and everything was female except for my genitalia. So she knew it was going to take an effect on me as I got older, and she tried to give, she gave me testosterone as I grew, um, grew older, so I wouldn't like look like, you know, this, but with male genitalia, and she didn't want me to like be different. But, you know, she embraced it, and the testosterone didn't work, so I've been through hormone replacement therapy twice, you guys. For those of you who didn't know she said it didn't work and so you know you were always different you were always the odd one out of the bunch you were just always super feminine you always were interested in what the girls were doing and I was never interested in sports you guys like my mom tried to put me in football I quit that within a week mm -mm, fuck that she put me in soccer I played for my elementary school now that I really loved I really loved soccer I loved kicking up the shit out of a ball and you know fucking up people's shins and shit it was really fun um, yeah, so that I loved. I wish I had pictures to show you guys. I don't keep that kind of stuff. Like, my mom has it all locked up, and I don't feel like looking for it. But one day, one day. So, I did all that and stuff, you know, tried to be a boy. It just didn't work. Um, it just chemically didn't work for me. So, you know, my mom always knew I was different. I was always a mama's girl at the time, you know, boy. She just knew. And she, my father passed away when I was six years old. And I always wondered, like, would he accept me the way I am? Like, would he be okay with me being his daughter instead of his son? And she was like, of course he would. Like, you know, he was probably more accepting than me at the time. That's coming from my mom's mouth. That relieved me. And that's why I was so pissed when someone mentioned my father. Like, how would your father feel if you were trans? Like, those kind of comments below, like, you guys can eat my ass. But yeah, my father had been very accepting, and my mom was obviously super accepting, but it did take a while for her to get my name and my pronouns right and stuff like that because um, she raised me for 19 years as he and my old name, and that's completely understandable. But, um, you know, sometimes, you know, she'd have her slip-ups here and there, and it would obviously upset me because I know that that's not who I was. So I would have to, like, you know, let her know, like, this is not who I am. I don't, rec I don't go by this name anymore. I need you to get it right because it really helps me. Like, people don't understand when they misgender and miss, and when they get your name wrong, it, like, makes you feel like someone stabbed you in the fucking throat with a knife. Like, that shit hurts. It's, like, abuse. Then my mom was basically like, well, I hope you're not planning on getting any crazy surgery. She's like, I don't want anything bad to happen to you. And then, like, at the time, pre-hormones, you know, I was like, oh, mom, no, I'm just gonna, like, get, like, my face reconstructed and have a boob job and obviously SRS and stuff like that sexual reassignment surgery and I explained to her all that she's like okay she's like just do your research and make sure that you're gonna be safe and not be on one of those series of botched and I was like yes mother I know I know I'm gonna do all my research um, with all that and what I realized is being on hormones for like a year and some I was on, I started hormones on October 6th 2015 so you guys do the math today's February 28th the hormones really like shaped my body grew my boobs and reshaped my face and fat fat redistribution and all that good stuff so I don't really think I need too many surgeries I just want like you know a little jaw work maybe a nose job and that's about it um my side profile is pretty nice in my opinion I don't really think I need you know that and obviously a tracheal shave but in the future um for those of you who didn't know i think insurance if you have really good insurance there's a doctor in san fran that covers um all the surgery just honestly do your research like there are doctors who um are covered with your insurance your surgeries so that's really good um but just know that coming out is not supposed to be melodramatic like i said in my previous how to come out as transgender video like you're just supposed to be calm make sure that you have all the info that you need to spill out to your parents because they're going to have questions they're going to be parents who think it's a phase and you don't want that 
make sure to tell your parents separately so that they can't gang up on you and also just be cool like this is um supposed to be very calm and just collect your thoughts before meditate a little i don't know smoke some weed whatever <clears throat> but yeah that's pretty much it for this video i really hope you guys gained some intel from this and how i came out as transgender <coughs> and yeah sorry my throat is dry as fuck so yeah i hope you guys gained some intel and really got educated from this video comment like and subscribe and share if you would please it would be very nice if you would like to and i'll see you guys later